Hello, uh, this is just a very short video on how to set up the optimal locator. Uh, I'm just going to uh, set it up only for the line of sight. So, open optimal locator in the Visual Studio. Open it and go to File, New Scenario. It may take uh, a couple of minutes to load up uh, because it's opening up uh, SDK and I've, I'm not making this panel visible until uh, SDK opens up so you can see this uh, two window here so the first thing uh, you need to do is you can add some terrains uh, whichever location you want you please go and select some uh, terrain so I'm just gonna pick up you can see that uh, you can uh, the terrain is selected here so I'm gonna add uh, two locations maybe 30 and uh, 70 and 30, 75 and 35, 75. And I'm going to add some uh, imagery as well. I'll go here, go to AGI downloads, the same imagery I'm going to add 30, 75, 30, 75 and 35, 75. These two. So you can see that um, I've added this particular location. And now uh, you can first uh, define your area of interest. Uh, just uh, please select one of the area. Uh, so just choose the first area, area of interest. <coughs> that is uh, the region where the coverage would be computed. Uh, this is the coverage area. Then you can choose the deployment region. So you would say like this is the region sorry just move this and you can click on ok so there is this region you can zoom on onto any of this region by clicking this zoom on button and now uh, there is a no go as well just did it and uh, click a region where like you don't want any of your assets to be present the next step is the you need to choose what kind of object you're going to place <clears throat> for the time being we'll just use the line of sight then you can decide how many uh, objects uh, you want to optimize so I'll choose four and you can choose a maximum range what is the the maximum visibility from the a point on the ground I'll put maybe like uh, 15 kilometers and height above the ground maybe 0 0.1 and you can just use uh, average N asset and please click on apply please don't forget to click on apply and once you click on apply you will be able to see all these facilities got created so now go to the grid <coughs> you can choose a resolution of 2 kilometer and if you choose altitude above terrain as an STK it will create the points on the terrain at a particular height so I'll choose altitude above main sea level and maybe I'll just put like uh, maybe five kilometers up so you can see uh, how high it is and so it is going to place the facilities at all these places and, and do a, a line of sight computation against all these points so now you can go to the optimization uh, so this is the number of generations and number of populations I have purposefully put like an even number so you have to put only the even number if you put odd number it's going to give an error I just put uh, 10 so there will be like 50 runs that means 50 times uh, the facilities will be moved around so as a first step uh, you can uh, uh, just put a, a display heat map and click on single run and you can see that there are no results got displayed this is because your facilities are all in the default location so you don't need to do this if you are directly running the optimizer but if you want to see like how uh, as an initial step so you can move all these four facilities somewhere in this region uh, three uh, and, and finally four finally four over here and you can just put a single run and you can see uh, the number of areas it's uh, it has covered and now once you click optimization it will just start running it it will take 50 runs so I'm just going to click the optimizer 
and uh, make sure that uh, you will zoom on to your area of interest just to see how, how it changes and click on the optimize button and you can see it, it starts randomly placing the, the facilities at different locations and this is going to take some uh, few minutes I am going to pause my video for and I will come back once it is done. So you can see uh, it has finished uh, the runs and this is uh, you will be able to see the results in this tabular column. This is all the runs it did. Uh, you can see how the facility 1 slat long has changed to 3 and 4. You can browse it down and if you go towards the end what you are looking for is the percentage of area covered. Uh, so you can see that uh, the area covered increased to 33%. This is the best run we had. And there is another area covered which is 30. You can see there is a violation. So violation is what it shows. So if I choose this one and click on run selected, you can see that one of the facility may be inside uh, this location. So when you are choosing it, you shouldn't choose this as a result. Sometimes uh, with violation, it may be giving more area covered but you shouldn't be choosing this location so you have you can select one of the line please make, you shouldn't be selecting only just and then doing the right click make sure that you select the entire line right click on it and choose the run selected so this is the best result what the optimizer has produced please remember that the more time you run the better results uh, you get uh, so there is one more optimization what you can do is see right now I have fixed it to only four assets but what if you want to choose how many number of assets is required whether one is enough two is enough three is enough or four five so this is like a multi-level optimizer where I can decide like okay uh, I have I can I want to decide which is the best between two to five uh, at a step of one this and if I click like so first it will try to optimize just with two assets then with three assets then with four assets and then with five assets so that means it will run with two assets for like 10 50 times uh, this 50 runs then it will run three assets 50 runs four assets 50 runs and five assets 50 runs and then you will be able to see the the results so I'll just uh, start running it so when I start the optimizer you don't need to do it uh, but I'll just show this result also. So you should be done with this optimization itself. So if you want are interested in this run, so you can just click on the optimization multi. So what happens is it's just you can see that it is just putting only the first two. Can you see that only two facilities are being moved? And once that two is optimized, then it will go three, then it will go four and well, five. So it's going to take some time. So I'm just pausing the video can see the run is complete now and once I click OK in the result tab you will be able to see four tabs here this is the result of each one so with asset 2 you are getting an optimized coverage of 22 percentage with asset 3 you are getting an optimized coverage of 31 percentage asset 4 like 33 percentage and asset 5 you are getting 36 percentage so you will be able to make a decision of how many number of assets is required so a proper optimization is when you have a lot more runs so I am running only 50 to get some good uh, results quickly uh, you will be able to save these results and load uh, later on as well using these two buttons uh, thank you.